Yeah, so I have a plan to turn this entire island into an automated island and try and automate every single thing on here and then do it with another island as well. So I've set up this little starting spot here and I'm going to put a chest in here as well so that we can just collect everything. And I'm mainly going to focus on the herbs right now, but eventually this entire island will be automated. So I'm going to put a large container down here, which is just going to be to collect everything that comes in. And we're going to start off by just focusing on all the herbs. Now the herbs are super easy to do. All you need is conveyor belt. So we've got a couple here. These are ultramarines and these are the ones that I want to get moved first of all and into our container so i'm going to start by just placing down a gridlocked one kind of here and aim to get all of the herbs onto that conveyor belt but this island is essentially going to be the ultimate island so we've got one that moves already okay will these move beautiful will these ones move let's go and that one as well all right so let's make it come out to the water a little bit and then come back towards our spawn point to go straight into our chest now the cool thing is about the herbs that are in the floor is even though you haven't picked them they class as floor loot so they will go straight into the container and be collected so i'll just hop islands real quick and go back and we can see it in action and we're going to do this for every herb on the island so you'll see as soon as we spawn in now those herbs over this side will be brought down there we go come all the way in and we can connect as many conveyor belts to this setup as we want into that chest so they they come in here we go in and we can see we got three which makes me think that some didn't move so we're going to go add a few more conveyor belts in make sure we cover the entire area where they're gonna spawn and we should be set look we still got a few more over here so let's bring the conveyor belts back out and let's try and get some of these moved over as well which should go lovely and now those two are collected as well let's hit the teleport so now all of those ones should move if any new ones are there then we just add them in as well but we should eventually have it so everything makes its way over look at that there's five there i believe that's all of them now we've got an automatic supply of oh we got another one here now we've got an automatic supply of ultramarine uh herbs which is just great so uh let's put that on there and the good thing is there's no seeds for the ultramarine herbs so having an automation for them is great okay so now i believe we've got one more set over here of herbs which we'll be able to get attached to that setup there so here we go what are these bright reds lovely okay so these ones should be very easy because i don't think that's going to be ah those back ones might not reach but these ones should be okay what about that one there let's go perfect we don't worry about collecting them the first time round. We just need the track set up first. And then every time we island hop, we're set. And then I'm going to do another island like it, probably do it on Hell. So we get a supply of everything from the Hell Island as well. The Hell Island isn't as important just because you don't really need to automate Hell Peppers because the seeds just infinitely grow in planters anyway. But if we can get all the mobs attached to it as well, that would just be awesome. Let's do the island hop again. And now let's see all of them come down. So we should get... 10 herbs come down now so what's that is that five yeah there's five there where's the reds oh i see five reds let's go and there we go there's the bright red herbs as well lovely now every time we come in here look at the collection we're getting already i love it so now we're gonna head over to the poison side because off the top of my head i can't remember there being a lot of stuff on the poison island like we've got some monos and stuff here and we're gonna get all of this stuff killed now we have got a collectible there which we could take i know there's not a lot of use for them now but maybe there will be one day we can automate all of these mobs here oh let me chuck a poison resistance on all right i'm not seeing any herbs right now we've got some mushrooms do we want mushrooms i mean sure we'll add them in why not i'm not sure if i've actually done my uh picture book for mushrooms yet so you know but no herbs but this island is just actually kind of empty there's like nothing here there's a lot of rocks and stuff we can automate but oh there's herbs there's herbs okay so there's one patch of herbs what are these these are yellow okay we'll take it okay now we're definitely too high for the conveyor belt so let's bring this over here this is going to be our first gridlocked one so we're going to try and get all of them onto there i think that will probably be okay to put one in there as well and then we ungridlock them from here maybe like here how straight is that budget up to the left a little bit there we go okay now we just need to do that for the rest of them let's get one right in the middle here one behind it and then we'll put one here as well and now we should be able to gridlock this now 
and go all the way back round. Okay, not bad. We got some yellows coming from the poison side. That's not too bad at all. We've already managed to use 100 conveyor belts, so this is going to basically clear out my conveyor belt stock. In fact, let's make this a little bit shorter. Let's cut it off, let's say here, because I do have different direction conveyor belts with me. So if I put one in here and then we bring it up, Let's just go up two, why not? We should now be able to at least, instead of going all the way around the island, just go straight across. I don't know if they get stuck on these trees, but I'm not chancing it. Ah, oh, let's have them fall off and land onto this conveyor belt here. Up there. Yes, that's perfect. All right, we've got to test that one. I don't know if I'm going to get all of the yellows there. All right, let's go. So we know these first ones are all good. We should get five of them every time now. Yeah, that's that's solid. That's set up. And then we should get the five bright reds coming round. One, two, three, four, five. Lovely. And now let's see how we get on with these yellows. Is that three? Oh, that's all five. I'm just going to go double check that we've actually got them all. But that's so sick. And we've still got the desert, the snow mountain, and the volcano to go. None. It's perfect. Now, we're also going to combine this with, like, when I do the automatic ore, I'm going to have that brought onto these conveyor belts as well. So, technically, these conveyor belts should end up with just being absolutely constant of materials. But that's awesome. Let's make sure all of them manage to do the drop down correctly. None in the water, nothing like that. All right, let's go check the container. Let's see how our stock's getting on. All right, nice. We got 23, 13, and 6. Not bad at all. It's a shame that they don't actually respawn because then it could just be AFK. But I think once we do this with a second island, is that a herb left over? Once we do this with a second island, we can just hop between the two. All right, look at that. Like, and there's one over there. That's solid. That's set up. Okay, these spawns are pretty wild. But we're going to keep filling them until they're all done. Put that one in there. No? What happened? Did that conveyor belt break or something? Okay, now this one, we should just be able to put one down. Yes. Go. <laughs> now, one problem we might have is mobs walking onto these. We may have to set up a kill box like halfway. <laughs> but let's make our way over to the desert and let's see what we can find over here. Do we want any shellfish? What are shellfish actually used for? Is it just food? Okay, so we get them, but we don't necessarily... Oh, it's needed for the amulets as well. So, yeah, we could we could take them. That's going to be easy enough to add on. Why not? I want everything. Another good thing for the picture book, though. Now, the great thing is most mobs in the game can be killed by water. So... We can also set up eventually to have all the mobs killed. Just everything. It's going to be mayhem. We've got some more herbs here. Is that another load of bright red? And we're going to need these ones to go straight up. So let's bring it about here so it doesn't get stuck on any rocks. And let's connect it up. All right, that will work. That will work. All right, we can do these ones gridlocked. Oh, what have I just done? Oh my god, I'm just putting stuff everywhere. All right, and now we go and connect this on. Should we just connect this one onto... What is hitting my... Are they just destroying my builds? It spawned in my build. Look how big that skeleton is. What on earth? You are massive. <laughs> so we need to lift these ones up higher or they're going to get hit by... Or uh... well, they're going to be hit... Oh, well, that's definitely not good. He's going to break everything. All right, we're going up again. Let's go up two just to be sure. And then we'll connect this one on and we won't have that that lower part because that lower part is going to cause us problems and i'm pretty sure i've just sent did it die did it is it in my build like where did it go this looks a bit sketchy to me so let's get rid of that one let's bring in another raised one to lift it over that there we go now we go back onto our bright red one and we connect that on lovely have that one drop down as well all right let's go back all right i see some more shellfish down there let's see if we can bring them all the way up and connect it onto that conveyor belt there all right that's pretty cool like that so if we can just now push them that way just a little bit like that and then we put another one in here perfect all the way up oh my god this is gonna be so cool so now we've got another set of shellfish to be added to our collection so we get our bright red herbs from there what else have we got? We got some over here. Is this more ultramarines? Yes! I, I actually wanted more. All right, so let's try and get these joined onto our bright red. So let's put this one in here as that looks like it's nice and clear from getting stuck on anything. Oh, and I can do it gridlocked. Let's go. 
Perfect. Oh, this is gonna be so cool. And there we go. We got another set of Ultramarine as well. Look at this place already. This is sick. All right, let's find some more stuff. What do we want? I will go around and do all the collectibles, but I'm not that bothered about them yet as I never even spend the ones I've already got. So the cool thing is, is if you don't want to collect the herbs, you could have those herbs turned into potions for you. Oh, we got some more over here. What are those? We got some yellow, more yellow. We should be able to do these ones gridlocked as well. No, typical. Get that in there. Beautiful. Oh, there's one all the way back here. Are you kidding me? Now make it go up to and straight out. Probably be better to connect this one onto the left as then it's even closer, which makes it a little bit faster. Oh my God, there's another 100 conveyor belts. I think that's 300 conveyor belts I've used already. So I'm going to start using some down conveyor belts and things like that just to make it so we don't have to use so many black conveyor belt put another one in and another one and then we're going to connect that straight onto that seashell line there perfect okay so now we've got another bunch of herbs as well let's see what else we can find in this desert so i'm pretty sure that's everything for up here so let's head over to this part here i don't think there'd be anything up here but there may be some on that back part oh there is some here we got some more yellow oh my i'm gonna have so many yellow we may actually be able to do this completely gridlocked so as long as i get one in to here let's go up again i should that should work yes love it when i can gridlock it is that more herbs down there Okay, and there's more over there. Oh my, okay. We're gonna need a whole new line here, I think. All right, so this one actually comes all the way back down, connects onto this one. So let's put another gridlocked one in here. And now we just need to join these middles with ungridlocked versions. All right, now hopefully, yes. Now let's push these side ones in, get both of them in one. Let's go. All right, we're going to make a fool for this one. How's that? Maybe one more? Oh, no, no, no. That might be one more. Yeah, there we go. Good job the herbs don't take full damage. Are these respawning? Okay. Put another one in there. <laughs> Let's go. All right, now we've got another set of herbs over this side, which are up on that top middle bit. So... And we got some more seashells down the bottom down there. Imagine if you go around and also put a generator on each animal. As soon as the animals spawn. <laughs> oh, that's actually a genius idea. I might have to do that. So let's put it about here. Hopefully that goes nice and above. Yeah, that would be fine. And we got some more ultramarine, which is great. I kind of want ultramarine over anything. I guess bright red as well. But if we don't have a seed for it, then we need to automate it somehow. And there's another set of ultramarine we can add to the collection. When this island is done, it is going to be amazing. And actually, one of the main reasons I wanted to do this is because we may not have the privilege of doing something like this once seamless drops. I mean, yeah, you could essentially automate the whole world. And believe me, I will. But we may not be able to separate our automations on different islands anymore now as much as i am super excited for seamless i am gonna miss separating the automations across different islands and it's gonna be very strange to not actually have islands anymore i do believe both modes will be available but we'll have to see all right let's go back and let's see everything in action i'm so excited to see all of this i don't know if i'm gonna go around and check if everything went because as long as majority of stuff does i'm happy but let's just chill here and let's take a look so we got our first bunch of ultramarine herbs i definitely want to go see the drop down so we know these work now we've got these bright reds coming over from this side we should have those yellows coming across any second yeah i think that's yellow there look at all of these herbs going and they're still coming this is actually kind of crazy and we've not even done all of the herb spots yet let's actually test how many we got so right now we have all of this right and i'm simply gonna offer it all Peace out, right? Gone. Now I'll hop island and we will see exactly how many of each herb we're going to get just off of the ones we've currently done. We've also got to go do the snow mint on the, on the snow mountain. We've got to go do some over on the volcano. But let's see. So right now we've got an empty large container and let's just chill here and wait. And let's just see how much stuff we actually get because it's kind of a constant flow, right? These ones come in and then the reds come in from the other side of the island. And you could essentially speed all this up, right? If you didn't go all the way round and loop it round, you could make this a lot faster. But I don't mind as long as I don't have to do anything. Here comes some of the shellfish that only looks like two. Oh no, there is more there. There is more. I don't know if that's all of them, but I don't necessarily mind. That's just kind of picture book. And you can see all of our stuff coming over. Some are dropping down. Let's go. Look at them all coming in. Again, bright red, 
and ultramarine are the key ones here we don't necessarily care about the others but we may as well collect them but this is just awesome look at this just coming in we love it and like i said we still gotta go do snowmen and stuff as well but that's beautiful i want all of them bring them in that's not bad we got 13 ultramarine 14 bright red and 11 yellow with four shellfish as well and that's about doing all of the spots and every time we travel that will happen so that's not too bad but let's get the rest of the herb spots done what i'll probably do is once i've got all the herb spots done i'll probably go back round them and make sure all of them are actually coming in let's go see what else we can find oh i need some conveyor belts okay there we go now doing this island is probably going to take us a few episodes because we're going to have to do the animals and then the rock and the bedrocks we pretty much want to automate everything here so we'll probably cover this but eventually this will just be mayhem very strange late herb are they respawning i didn't think they respawned there's another one i see a lot missed down there so yeah we haven't exactly maximized anything right now we put that straight oh that's beautiful all right and then we'll put another gridlock one in there oh i see you in the bush all right let's glitch your conveyor belt in that bush pow let's go down and do those ones real quick because there is quite a few missing there. I think the, that's the best way to do it is to go round, set it up initially, do a few travels, make sure you've got all of them covered, and then you're, you're good, right? You can just do it however you want to do it from that point on. But let's get these ones pushed in the middle here. Push that one across. Let's go. All right, so let's double check up here. All of that's done. Okay. We've got a buffalo on our track right now. The animals may be problematic, but we can kill them for sure. All right, that's all of that collected. Let's check down here now. So we've now got this whole desert to check. We could also have the NPCs brought over as well so that we can check their loot, but I'm not seeing any herbs. Now we have got some shellfish there, but I'm really not setting up an entire conveyor belt system from all the way back here just for more shellfish when we sell the mining rocks and things like that then yeah we may throw in the shellfish then but we're just doing herbs right now and i don't think there's any up here no there's definitely not okay so we're going over to snow then oh we got some right here what are they more ultramarines yes let's go and we can gridlock them beautiful all right let's get a conveyor belt up out of here gridlock that one right um that's just too easy in fact that is too easy let's Let's just put one either side because that there's no way it's going to be that easy every single time. Where's the closest conveyor belt track we've done already? Up there. We can connect that. Beautiful. You could probably make this way tidier than I've done it as well, but that's what I'm here for. I'll make the ugly version and then I'll put our guide eventually, but in the meantime, you guys can make the pretty version. As long as it's automatic, I'm good. And we'll connect that one on there to save ourselves a bunch of conveyor belts. This is awesome. What are they? Please be like red or something or more ultramarine. Yes. We love them ultramarines. Give us them. Ow! We don't care about the snowball. Unfortunately, we can't collect that. Oh, I'm taking these ones with me. Look at that. You're definitely gone now, though, because I've got a switch. See ya. Oh, bye, wolf. <laughs> We're connecting that one on as well. Let's go. Okay, now this snow mountain is going to be a little bit harder to find everything on just because it's actually quite annoying to maneuver around. Now, I have got a jetpack, but it's quite slow. The interesting one would be when we get over to the volcano and we have to try and fend off a dragon. This one is actually quite far away. So I'm going to set this up to help us with our lava setup as well. So now we just need to connect these onto that one. And we're going to head over towards the volcano and this will help us get some of these volcano ones collected as well. I don't even know how many are over there and I'm not looking forward to that dragon spotting me and taking out some of my conveyor belts. All right, now we've got to take this one all the way back up towards our spawn point. All right, connected. I have no idea what is happening with these animals and if they're just building up in my container right now. I wonder if it'd be worth putting a gap just before the, my container and putting an absorber to bring everything in. That way, any animals going in will be killed at the start of my container and be absorbed into the chest as well. Hmm. Okay, so I can see the dragon and I wanna mark exactly where he is. Right, he's in that little gap up there, right? Because he is gonna be automatically killed, but I'm gonna have to kill him and then set it up. So I need to know his spawn. But right now we're focusing the herbs. Are they more bright red? Okay, I'm actually fully down for this because these are pretty much all the ones that we just can't get with a seed. I know we can get yellow. Right now, the one problem we might have here is these damn snowballs. And the reason for that is snowballs do damage as you can see so we don't want any of that kind of tetris in this one around the trees a little bit but give me a gap come on all right connected as well let's go and we got another load here jesus there's actually loads on this snow mountain and it's another lot of bright red as well let's take these ones back ah leave me alone get off my conveyor belt thank you 
Please leave me alone. Will you stop? Oh my god, I'm getting battered. Please stop. Ow. Please. I don't want no part of this. I'm frozen. Oh my god, I'm getting I'm getting ruined. Please leave me alone. Yeah. I'm not trying to fight you. I'm trying to build. This is very hostile of you. Okay, we're chilling, we're chilling. You love to see it. Okay, so I think that might be it from round the outside. I've almost done a full loop now. Oh no, as I'm saying that, some right here. There's some more yellow, okay. This game knows I've got a stamina drinking problem. Just stop, please. I am busy here. I haven't got time for your annoying ways. I'm gonna try not to Tetris this one. Oh, but we've got to because there's trees everywhere. Boom. Drop it on. Let's go. All right. That's definitely all the herbs done around the outside now. So now we've got to go and get the ones throughout the middle of the island. Now, these ones shouldn't be too bad because all I've got to do is push them off and make them fall onto our other track, which should hopefully mean we'll go through less conveyor belts as well. Is this even straight? Yes. Right onto there. Perfect. All right. So there's another bunch of bright red. I was really hoping to get some uh, snow mint. I guess it doesn't really matter because we can have snow mint seeds. Come on, there's got to be at least like one snow mint, right? Anything all the way up here? Nothing. All right, well, this kind of sucks. As I said, we got snow mint seeds, so it really doesn't matter. It would have just been cool to add it to the collection. But the main thing is we got those bright red and the ultramarine. That's the ones we want. And I think that's this entire island done now. I will go through and double check it all when I go around and do all uh, all the fixes on the spots we've already done but for now let's head over to the volcano and let's see what we got we got a penguin heading down our conveyor belt track right now we definitely need to set up a cool little kill box down there for anything that does come down that would be awesome all right we're heading over where's the dragon there he is i need to keep that spot on him but let's get weaponed up where's he at oh there he is hey buddy i'll come back don't just fly off ladies buddy all right this is where you spawn and this is where you die. I know I said I wasn't going to do this right now, but this could save me a lot of effort. Where is the closest water? Right, we need him killed down over there, I think. But if I just set this up right now, then anytime this dude spawns in, he's coming with me. And then I think I might have to move my base to the sky so that I don't wake him up. Let's have him brawl all the way over here. But then he gets brought down this conveyor belt, brought into here, and he's got to be pushed under the water all right that is completely walled off a little roof to try and keep him in and we're going to see how this works so i'm going to head all the way out here so that i don't interrupt him and let's just see how this actually works out because this could be amazing so i'm going to come right out of the way over here and then i'm going to activate him with this and then quickly get the drone out. Ah, oh, he spawned off of my conveyor belt. Are you kidding me? That's fine. We'll do this as many times as we need to, big boy. Come on, buddy. Don't lay down. Come over here. You're not destroying my conveyor belts. I'll take that to the face. I'll take that one to the face as well. Come at me. Just die and stay away from my conveyor belts. Okay, he's good. We've got some yellow herbs there as well. We can connect them on. All right, we're going to have to just fill out this entire area with conveyor belts so that he has no chance of spawning off of them all right that is completely covered so now let's go back up try it again let's spawn him in all right he's moving he's moving let's see what happens here don't fly don't fly no all right he's slowly going but he's walking backwards oh my god go on oh he's huge okay will you get in there that shelf's keeping him alive and he's got out no the little shelf above didn't kill him it kept him alive all right we'll get rid of them he just led on the edge you're all right we're definitely coming back to the pets but at least we've done majority of the herbs now we've done all of them from the snow mountain there's only yellow herbs on the volcano so i'm not overly crazy about them but we are going to move on to getting this dragon done and the lava golem over there and get all of the mobs sorted out as well but for now i really hope you enjoyed this episode i know it was a little bit random but i thought why not focus on something like a bit of a bigger project similar to my automated mine which we will get to soon so let me know what other crazy stuff you may want to see throughout this series please do drop a like and subscribe comment down below of any help that you may need in the game or anything you want to see me do remember to join the discord all the links are down below but most importantly enjoy the rest of your day stay safe and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace